And we are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Basil and Bunny is the uh, is the food truck from out of actually out of Hope in Maine as well. Leslie Medeiros is the owner and chef. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for coming in. First of all, thank you for having uh, me. Before we went on the air, you were telling me a great story. Yeah. <laughs> you, your background is not even a chef. I am not. I am a home cook. Yes, who have become a professional chef. So I actually was a makeup artist before. Right. My husband was a marketing, uh, marketing guy too, and we wanted to just follow our dreams, and we took a big leap of faith, and it just happened to be during the pandemic. <laughs> you are but, great. Yeah. So, but it's working out. It's good. <laughs> We're really happy. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Now, you folks do everything out of Hope and Maine because it's a great location. Yes, I, we love Hope and Maine. Um, we do have a kitchen out of Hope and Maine, and we actually have a food trailer okay. right in the back that we work out of. All right. Yeah. So tell us. About about the uh, the food truck that you have and what we're going to make today. Absolutely. So we are 100% plant based too. So we specialize in vegan comfort food. Right. So the thing that we're going to be showing you today is something that we actually started out of Hope and Maine okay. for their nourish and their neighbor program. Yep. So it's um you buy one. Um, meal and then you get to feed a neighbor too. Right. So it just became really popular and we sell it on a truck now. So let's go over the ingredients that we need to mm -hmm. actually put this together. What do we Absolutely. need? Absolutely. So you need some brown rice. Okay. Um, this is garlicky kale. So it's um, kale with garlic. We have some spiced um, sweet potatoes, cauliflower, uh, chimichurri sauce that we make, um, chives, uh, cilantro microgreens, some black beans, and we have some chipotle mayo. This is really good. And we, we were yeah. also saying just a little while ago, cauliflower is having a moment. It is having a moment. We <laughs> yes, love it, right? Yes, we really do. Yes. Growing up as a kid, I was never really a fan of cauliflower, and no. now I can't get enough of it. Exactly. And I see the finished dish over there, yes. and it's going to be really good. Yes, I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah, excellent. So this is going to be simple, easy to put together. Also, they have some great uh, other choices on their food truck that they can uh, you know, get you as well. We will put this together, talk about that in just a little bit. Back to you. We are so thrilled to have owner chef Leslie Medeiros from Basil and Bunny here at Hope in Maine. How are you? I'm great. Thank you it's for great. having me. Yeah, it's great to see you. So you are preparing and you've been hard at work all yes. morning long on the chimichurri cauliflower burrito bowl. I have indeed. I like saying chimichurri. Yeah. So That's forgive hard, me if right? I keep <laughs> saying it over and over again, but take yeah. us through what you've been doing here. It all looks so vibrant Thank and delicious. Thank you. Yeah. So we have some fresh organic uh, brown rice black beans, we've done some kale with a little bit of olive oil and crushed garlic. Um, we've roasted our cauliflower and our sweet potatoes with a lot of really delicious spices. Um, we've made some house-made um, chimichurri sauce, a little olive oil, vinegar, oregano. Um, we have some microgreens and some chives, and then we have our chipotle aioli. I'm watching those colors just pop right yeah. off the room. Not that shot right there. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me pop up right there. It all looks so good. Thank Let's you. Let's talk about uh, this preparation process. I see something over there on that side. Is that yes. kind of what it's gonna, what it does look like when it's yes, ready to go? Exactly. Do you want to see them? Oh, well, you can leave yeah. it there. Okay. I'm sure we'll find it somehow. <laughs> but that. Um, if someone wants to try this at home, if they've never really at attack, attacked something like this or attempted yeah. this in their own kitchen, I'd imagine that it, you could you know, simplify you, it for them. We'll have the recipe at Roche.com, but they shouldn't be intimidated by this. Not at all. This is actually something that me and my husband actually used to make every single night um, as like a quick dinner, and it was one of our favorites, so we were so happy to be able to share with everyone, and it's been, been such a big hit at the trailer. Yeah, and let's talk about what's happening over there at Hope and Maine. You were saying you moved in just pre-pandemic, correct? We did, yeah. So we moved in. Um, we signed with them in October, and then we launched at Rhode Island Veg Fest in February. Right. And you know, the world kind of changed a bit, but we've managed to kind of um, pivot and do a lot of online um, pickups and. Still so it's been it's been great. Yeah, and we have been so fortunate here on the Roadshow to welcome so many of our friends from Hope and Maine. Just a, a, a tremendous, you know, innovative food incubator, Absolutely. if you will. To be part of that community must mean so much to you. It is. It's great. Um, I mean, a lot of the people that come from there are home cooks, just like us. So we're really just learning everything together, and you really create create just like a really great bond and a really great community there. So yeah, it's been so helpful. How did you get going in all this stuff? You know, what led you to want to become a chef and to do this kind of thing? Absolutely. Was it lifelong? pursuit it's been it's been like a dream for a really long time um, we started off as a blog a few years ago and it was just something that we were really passionate about and it kind of just developed from there and we just wanted to take a leap and we took a leap outstanding you're an inspiration right oh, here because you. you went out and you did it and <laughs> yeah. where can people uh, find you I imagine you're on social media as well as the web yep so um, at basil and bunny um, on social media we have a website you can easily um, find us at and then every Friday at hope in Maine and this Saturday we're gonna be at the open air 
there um, Saturday downtown. And is there some type of a menu, things we can, yes. orders we can Everything put in? Everything is right online. So if you go to our website, um, you'll be able to just, just like shopping, you just pick out exactly what you want, pick a time, and then we'll bring it right to your car. Well, I could just get my order directly to you though, because you you're right absolutely. here. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> but it must be so great to have that continued support, you know, despite yes. everything that's going on, people mm -hmm. still want to show up, they still want to support you, and it must be so rewarding to you. It is. People are still hungry, and um, <laughs> we are, we do all, everything 100% plant-based. We um, try to support as many um, local companies as possible. We use a lot of um, Fort Town Farms, veggies, so just being able to help the community too has been just great. Too. Yeah, well, it's great to have you here with us. Thank this you. is Leslie Medeiros from Basil <laughs> and Bunny. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. If you guys would like to get the recipe or to learn more all about what they have going on at Hope and Main, just head on over to roadshow.com. <laughs>